A smooth walk for Christina Keneally as she embarked on selling her government's spending blueprint. But after the sales pitch, there was a personal swipe about the opposition leader's trek on PNG's Kokoda track. These comments Barry O'Farrell made on radio. Absolutely, I think I'm strong, Chris. I don't reckon I would have you know, personally uh, survived my Kokoda trek if I didn't have something inside me that, uh, that kept me going. Well, so did Miss Australia, so, you know, congratulations, Barry. That Miss Australia was Caroline Pemberton, not just a pageant performer, but as these pictures show, a hardened adventurer. Christina Keneally's comment has inflamed opinions with the implied connotation the Kokoda treks a walk in the park. We put people through uh, a pretty serious training regime. It goes for about 10 or 12 weeks, depending on where they, where they live. And um, uh, we won't take them if we don't think they're up to it. Thousands of Australians make the pilgrimage, even the toughest of athletes. It's tough. And you, as I said, you've got to train for it. And I think plenty of people have uh, had heart attacks and plenty of people haven't, haven't been able to finish it. Four people died hiking the 96 kilometre track last year. But in Parliament, Christina Keneally stepped up her attack. They don't use it as a political football, Mr Speaker, which is precisely what the Leader of the Opposition has done. Then claimed Barry O'Farrell did have it easy. And he had some 70 porters to carry his bags for him, Mr Speaker. Kokoda stands alone. It stands alone because it's physically the toughest thing most people will do these days. And if you haven't trekked Kokoda, you really don't understand Kokoda. Kevin Rudd and Joe Hockey have both walked Kokoda. Neither have been accused of making it political. Josh Murphy, 10 News.